This guy asked the question, is six weeks too fast to be official? And he asked the question, he says, uh, I'm 23. I've been seeing this girl for about six weeks now, and we have our eighth date this weekend. I was thinking of making it official this week, but wanted to make sure. For reference, we have been dating exclusively for three weeks, though we haven't been seeing anyone else from the first date. So this guy's been seeing her for six weeks. He's already doing the most. Like I typically tell you guys, you should be starting out seeing a girl once a week until she starts requesting more of your time. So if he's asking her once a week, they'd be a, a, be by now about like date six. You know, if he if she's asked him in that time, then they'd probably be closer to eight or so like that. But it's only been six weeks, right? So that's a month and a half. It takes a woman two to three months to start solidifying her feelings enough to where she feels that lovey-dovey feeling. And at the point that women really feel that for you, they will come to you and ask for a relationship. Where you may be failing in your situations is you may be dating women that are generally, genuinely building interest into eventually loving you. And around five or six weeks, you're trying to go in there and ask for the relationship. But she's not there yet. And again, you'll know that she's there when she asks you. We are going to have our feelings almost from like date one or really from 8.2 seconds of seeing her. So what, 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 what men think is that if we're not trying to ask for the relationship, then how is it going to happen? Because she's not going to bring it up. I can assure you from my experience, women that have high interest and that have gotten to the point where they're starting to feel lovey-dovey feelings always ask you for the relationship. They'll say, what are we? Are you seeing anybody else? Are you still in the dating apps? Well, what are we? My friends are asking questions like, do you do you want me seriously? Because here's the thing, once women fall for you and have, have a very, very high interest in you, now they become the ones that don't want to feel used. And they, they become the ones that are like, I don't want to risk putting my heart and soul into this anymore if he's only taking this to just be like we're just friends or just hookup buddies. So for the betterment of my self self sanity and self esteem, I need to make sure that me and this guy are now on the same plane now that I have those feelings, which is why you wait for her. Because again, you know, as a guy, for the most part, your feelings are going to already be there. If you're legitimately trying to be with this woman, if you're spending time, effort, energy, and resources on her, then as long as you're consistently doing that, and doing it in a way which she finds pleasing and she's having a good time with you, then a woman that's going to want to see that continue is going to want that to continue in a relationship capacity and she will come to you. But to the point, this guy's six weeks in and is already thinking like he needs to have the conversation with her, right? So there's this other guy and this guy, he has the question, he says, uh, dating anxiety, am I moving too fast? He said, I recently ended a long-term relationship, blah, 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 blah. Uh, last month on one of the dating apps, I met somebody uh, we matched and our connection, or we met and our connection was almost immediate. Now, when he says this, what he's actually saying is to me, the connection felt immediate because I saw her picture and in 8.2 seconds later, I was already feeling her before I even talked to her. So that's, so what he's doing now is he's projecting how his experience has been of just seeing her with how she must feel also. And this is where the break starts to happen for, for men and women's feelings. Because again, women on average, if they're, if they're doing the uh, whole love at first sight thing, it's going to take them a minimum of 15 days because even if they're falling in love fast, they're going to want to make sure they're assessing some things before they completely say, you know what, based on what I've assessed, I, I really love this guy, right? But he's already there. So he's thinking because I'm already there and she's agreeing to talk to me on the, on the app, that must mean she's also there already. She is not. But anyway, he says, we chatted on the app. Uh, her responses were infrequent, but they were always thoughtful and engaging. I double texted once and she told me to, to, she gave me the number. Okay. After a week of texting, I asked her out to the beach and she agreed. The chemistry was palpable. Our first date was filled with flirting, deep conversations and light physical affection. We even made plans for a second date and I was smitten. Now that's a mistake. That's a mistake the guys make is that they're trying to ask for a second date while on a first date. And we don't do that because I'm all about you guys doing things that are going to rapidly increase her high interest in you. Yes, she takes a little bit longer to fall in love, like 15 days versus 8.2 seconds. But if you're doing the right moves, then her love for you will get there in the time that it's supposed to. If you're trying to say, oh, this is a great, we see, we see each other again really soon, then you're taking away the... Uh, apprehension for her and the unknowing of if you'll contact her that she actually needs to feel 
in order for her to solidify for herself that, oh, I must be liking this guy more and more because I, I wonder about him when he's gone. I wonder when he's going to call me again. But why is that? Why do I want to see him so much? But because why, why do I want him to contact me more? It must be because I like him. She has to go through this exercise in order to build attraction for you a lot faster. So then he, but he says, uh, we made plans for a second date. I was smitten. However, I couldn't help but notice more sporadic texting. Uh, even though she was apologetic and had good reasons, I noticed, uh, uh, unlike several dates I've been with her, responses were always thoughtful. Blah, blah, blah. So basically, he's having texting anxiety because he's using texting as a means to be more self-assured. Like, if she's not texting him as frequently or responding right away, then he's equating that with, she must not have high interest in me, and therefore, I'm not getting the validation I need and feeling good. But this happens because when guys fall in love really fast, then it's like, we're looking for the woman that we're with to give us all the signals and we're judging her based on the signals we think we should be getting as a means of judging her about if she's actually showing the love that we need. And this is why texting is so freaking dangerous because I tell you guys, texting kills attraction for women. You should only be texting or initiating texts for when you're trying to plan dates. And what you, when you start to text that way, what you'll find is that women, as they're building interest, will start to reach out to you on the days that you're not reaching out to her. But this doesn't happen if from the moment you meet her, you're texting her nonstop. You're trying to text her all the time. You're getting mad and having conversations with her about how she needs to text you more. This is all insecurity. And after a time, showing that kind of insecurity is going to cause her to lose interest. So then he says, I'll admit I'm usually glued to my phone and instantly respond to messages, but she sometimes went a day without responding. This made me wonder if her delayed replies meant she was losing interest or exploring other options. I knew it was too early to expect exclusivity, but my self-esteem took a hit. So he's taking all this personally. But again, he's texting too much. And here's the thing. Like, if you're texting too much, as I've said on previous shows, is that you're basically signing her up to do a, 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 an amount of communication with you that is not warranted so early on in the dating process. You know, you have to give her the space to decide that she wants to come to you and wants to reach out to you more because we want women doing that as a means of chasing you via phone. And as I always say, if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. But if you're chasing her by texting her all the time, you can chase her away and you don't want that to happen. So then uh, he says, uh, our second date, another dinner in the movie was equally magical. She mentioned she wasn't a great texter. So what he, what, but assured me that she was making an effort. She said she texted me more than even her best friend and maybe more time for me than her friends. While they should have eased my worries, it didn't entirely. So what she's trying to say is, dude, I'm showing you that I like you by showing up for these dates. I'm not a great texter, but also I don't want to have to become one. Like I want to be able to come and go as I please via texting. And you're making it seem like I need to do it all the time. Please stop. Anyway, as our connection deepened, we share intimate moments, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we met for a two hour mini date at the beach to eat and watch the sunset. Not two days later. And as the sunset, we had our first kiss, which I'll always remember. He's, he's using a lot of sappy language. which I get it guys. It's great to feel these things. I just hope he's not actually verbalizing these things to her because this sappy stuff can also turn women off relatively quickly uh, at, on average. He says, we talked about everything from our families to our dreams and our bond grew stronger. So I'm gonna get to this in a second also when I go through this list of things. Uh, by our fourth date at my house a week later, we'd spent about 18 hours together between all of our dates. So four dates, oh, three, so three dates and then the fourth date. So eight, that's like almost six hours to each other per date. Early on in the dating process with women, you should be like the first date should be no more than an hour and a half tops. The second date, maybe two or three hours. By that third date, maybe four hours max. But you shouldn't be spending like six hours, eight hours, 10 hours, weekends full of time with each other. Like people, because this, this is how burnout happens. But again, guys do this because at the point where they fall in love, which is usually really early in the process, they now think because I'm in love, I can now start treating her like the girlfriend, which means I can give her all of my time. And again, women need a minimum of 15 days to fall in love. So what can start to happen for the woman is, God, I'm spending so much time with this guy. Like, what the heck? And I'm going to get into that and another thing I'm going to read you in a minute. Anyway, then um, says the next day. Oh, uh, see, uh, after the fourth date, um, she didn't respond to my messages, which led to more overthinking. It got the best of me. So I checked the dating app and noticed she had recently used it in the last few hours, which didn't help my anxiety. Now, he doesn't know why she checked it because she could be on there searching other dudes. She can be on there to like, look back on their, on their former conversations. I've done that when I had dating apps, like looking back and like, Oh, she said this thing to me. And we, this is how we 
first met. But the point is, again, he's putting so much stock in the phone and on texting that he's starting to like trick his brain into thinking like other things are happening. But again, it's only been two weeks of them dating up to this point. She has not chosen him yet. So she is more than fine to be on the apps if she chooses to trying to see other guys potentially because even though they're having a good time building up with each other it's been like three or four dates in the span of two weeks which is a lot but that doesn't mean that she's yet solidified in her loving feelings for him and that's where he's messing up and the fact that she's still dating him by the way so uh he got rid of the dating app hoping it would stop him obsessing uh next day she apologized for blah 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 for for delaying she was busy um she mentioned blah blah blah, whatever anyway so anyway now we're getting ready for our fifth date a day trip to an event this weekend it'll be around three weeks since our first date and a month since we started talking so it's been basically 2.5 date 2.5 weeks since i started dating they've gone on five dates now as a person that's you know studied the history of this and has had his own personal experiences even though it looks positive now i can already see where this is going which is for the most part uh if he's not careful He's going to start trying to text too much and call too much even more. And as you'll see later down the road, he's already thinking of doing something that could be very cataclysmic to where they're currently at in their journey, right? So he says, I'm debating whether to express my feelings for her after this weekend event. Which, by the way, it's too early for them to be doing weekend anything. That's more of like a two and a half month, a three month thing when you're getting closer to being in a relationship. But anyway, he says, I'm debating whether to express my feelings for her after the event and let her know that she isn't just an option for me. And that I not only just enjoy spending time with her, but would like to explore the idea of being exclusive when we both feel comfortable while trying to make it clear. I don't want to rush, but I want to pursue something more serious. But I also don't want to rush her, given her busy schedule and commitments, despite my nagging internal voice, worrying about everything. So why is it that he feels that he needs to do this? Why is that? Well, I'm going to go into that in this little list here, because here's the thing. This guy... He's already talking about trying to express feelings and trying to get her into a serious relationship after two and a half weeks. Now, he's been in love with her since the first 8.2 seconds that he laid eyes on her. And now he just can't contain himself because for him, considering that he fell in love at 8.2 seconds, 2.5 weeks for a guy feels like a long time. Like it feels like we've been dating forever. I'm thinking about her nonstop. I'm texting her all the time. I'm going out on these wild dates and we've spent 18 hours here. Like, oh my God, I spent so much. I already know what I want. 2.5 weeks. That is 19 days. So she's had 19 days to date him. And again, this, the study that I read to you guys was saying women that, that uh, are doing the whole love at first sight thing take 15 days to fall in love. But on average, it takes a woman two to three months to get to that feeling tone. So he's at a disadvantage because at 2.5 weeks in, he's feeling these strong feelings and she still has in her brain at least two and a half more months to go. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are stop. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high.